what I was interested in to, in the beginning was how the immune cell can enter and leave the meninges. My name is Antoine Louveau and I'm a postdoctoral fellow. So we know that immune response is activated after infection or injury in the brain, but we did not know how the communication uh, happened because the idea was that there is no lymphatic vessels. I am uh, Jonathan Kipnis. I am a faculty member at the Department of Neuroscience and the director of the Center for Brain Immunology and Glia. Every organ, every tissue in the body communicates with the immune system through these channels or the highways called the lymphatic vessels. And in the brain we thought that they didn't exist. The first experiment we did is staining for those immune cells to see where they were and we realized that some of those cells were in a vascular structure that was not a blood vasculature. So we found those vessels totally by serendipity. We were looking at the immune response in the coverings of the brains and actually we've been interested in how cells get in and what we found is those vessels which usually take cells out. The process we're using is fairly straightforward. We isolate the meninges from the mouse and then we use antibody to stain those meninges and then we imaged it using our confocal microscope. When we discovered those structure, we realized that we are discovering something that was thought not to exist. So Antoine calls me and shows me those vessels. It was absolutely this moment of eureka. It was uh, really hard to deny that what you see is not real. This is not something that's happened a lot in science and so once we had the first clue of that structure to be real, then we just kept on going no matter what the hour were. Every research is a team effort, and so we collaborated with uh, uh, Taji Harris, who is the professor in the department and a member of the center, and she actually brought with her the expertise of live imaging, so we were able to image a flow of, 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 of this lymphatic vessel flow with, in, a, in a live mouse in, a, in a real time. And then Igor Smirnov is a phenomenal animal surgeon and so he was able to make those windows and develop the technique here. We do not understand well enough what triggers immune response to attack the brain in multiple sclerosis. Will these vessels allow us to understand it? I don't know, but they will allow us to, to at least address a couple of questions which we haven't been able to address before. We have some hints that those structures exist in humans, but we need to work more to further prove that they exist in humans. If I have one dream, it would be that many, many other labs will now start looking at the role of these vessels in the disease that they are working on.